I got one. The technological age, it's changed all of us. Our interaction, our state of being, what it means to be human. I no longer own a smartphone. <laughs> if you tell someone that, they look at you like an alien. Because their nine-year-old has one. My, my nine-year-old does not. His favorite things are books. He passes on his nook for the real thing. He loves the feel of books, the smell of them, the weight of them. The souls of real books made from paper, they sing to him. The ones that trees gave their lives for. Books are like another appendage for my son. I want it to stay that way forever, but I know that it won't. I know one day technology will creep in and it will take over. One day it will try to control his thoughts and keep his mind constantly busy. Preoccupied by the glowing screen, I fight the war between addiction and use. I log on to my social networking sites to be in the know and connect with my friends. I do independent research as well. I read meaningful article after meaningful article, but I'm still doing it in front of a screen. The glow, it brings me in like a moth and it holds me there, sometimes for a bit too long. I'm smart, but I don't have a smartphone. I do have the internet though, the fucking brilliant internet with its vast amount of knowledge and limitless amount of cats and funny <laughs> memes and porn. <laughs> Let's not forget porn. The internet was founded upon porn. Everything you ever want is right there at your fingertips. At the touch of a button, you can turn on a magical device that connects you with everything everywhere, except for yourself and nature. Those things you have to connect with on your own. It's a constant struggle in our society to not get too wrapped up in our electronics, to not let our devices own us, to not let them take over our souls, to instead cultivate ourselves and each other, and all of the things that are really important. I still fight the battle daily. <clears throat> Even though I'm not married to the new iPhone 65, some days I win the battle and some days I lose. Some days I binge watch Netflix, I play video games, I check Facebook 20 times, check email, the weather, local event calendars, the fucking I love science page, store locations, library mm -hmm. hours, Google Maps, and all sorts of shit that I don't need to. Some days I get too wrapped up, but I never forget to go outside, to breathe in the fresh air, even if it's just for a few minutes. I never forget to look my son in the eyes every day and tell him that I love him. I never forget to be thankful for living. In a society where social media upset and too much time on the internet is my worry. Sure, I have other shit on my plate. That's a way more monumental than that. But most of it is just first world worry. I don't have to walk to get my fresh water and then tote it back on my head. I don't have to watch my child starve right in front of my eyes and feel helpless doing so. I don't have to cover almost every inch of my body before I leave my home. I have the illusion of freedom, at least, and some actual freedoms that I take for granted. I have a roof over my head so I can be sheltered while surfing the web. I have people that love me and too many other things to mention. I have the ability to choose between being productive and procrastinating on Facebook. I live in a society where most of us are addicts, technological addicts feeding up of Wi-Fi and Ethernet, and it's a constant struggle. I maintain some balance. Even if I'm married to the Internet, like most of you, I do get away from the old ball and chain sometimes. Mm -hmm. To do things that I love, to be present in the lives of those that I love, ask yourself if you do the same and if you do it often enough. <laughs>